What James Said by Liz Rosenberg, illustrated by Matt Myers. I'm never talking to James again. We are in a fight. James told Aiden, who tells everything to Hunter, who whispered it to Katie, who informed Dante, who told it to Emily, Anna, and Declan, who let Declan's little sister in on it, who told me. that I think I am perfect. I do not think I am perfect. I have big feet and freckles. My hair is plain brown. I am not the best speller or the best at math. I am okay at art, but I don't brag about it. I can't help it if the art teacher likes me. She would like James better if he paid attention, if he wasn't always cracking jokes or trying to balance a feather when he is supposed to be gluing it, if he wasn't always losing his markers or saying mean things behind his best friend's back. James and I used to be friends, but not anymore. I am ignoring him. What's wrong? He asked this morning. I didn't sit next to him on the bus like I always do. I had to sit between two fifth graders. Are you feeling okay? He asked while we were hanging up our coats and our cubbies. I just shrugged. We have matching jackets with green turtles all over and bright green hoods. Tomorrow, I am going to wear a different coat to school. I'm not sure he knows we are in a fight. I sat with my girlfriends at lunch and glared at him across the cafeteria. He came over and asked, Do you have a stomach ache? Do you want me to walk you to the nurse? No, thank you, I said and went and threw my lunch into the trash. I wasn't very hungry then. Later, James slid a bag of my favorite chips onto my desk. I didn't eat them, at least not right away. He drew a funny picture of himself that almost made me laugh out loud. Without James to talk to, the school day seemed to last forever. The clock didn't budge no matter how hard I stared at it. Finally, we all marched down to the gym for art day. My picture of the beach was at the front of the room. It's perfect, James said. I turned around. What? I said. I think it's perfect, James said. That's what I tell everyone. Oh, I said, thank you. I didn't hear my name till the art teacher called it out for the third time. She looked mad by the time I got up there. I understood how James felt. She's pretty strict. Then she handed me a blue ribbon and smiled. Everyone applauded, but James whistled. He is the best whistler in our grade by far. Somebody took my picture and the principal shook my hand. I couldn't wait to sit back down. I would rather draw all day than stand up in front of a bunch of people. James has the beach pitcher hanging in his room over his fish tank. 
He says the Siamese fighting fish likes the painting. I let him keep the blue ribbon that goes with it too. The ribbon used to say best of show. Now it says something else instead. Best of friends.